Theo. Hmm. Michael's wife. Hey everyone, it is your host Cyber and welcome to another video. Before we get on today's video, I want to put some, some very big warnings out there because apparently a lot of people have been asking this question, can I get banned and can I go online with this? Both yes and no. You will get banned if you try to go online and no, you cannot go online with this because in either way, if you try to go online, you're going to get banned. So why even try? There's no reason for you to go online because if you try, your intentions are to use this to mod online and cheat, then I don't think that you should have be playing GTA in the first place. So if you get banned, don't come to me and blame me for you getting yourself banned. You're the one that wanted the mods. You're the one that wanted to be able to install them. So if you get banned, it is all on you. Use at your own risk. So I'm gonna show you guys on how to install um, mods such as different like mods for like vehicles, etc., etc. But we're only gonna be focusing on one mod specifically in this video. We're not gonna go on a bunch of mods on how to install each one. They're all gonna go pretty much gonna be similar to each other. So just keep up. So um, I would suggest not to skip this video because if you skip the video and you try to be a smart ass, then you're most likely to get confused because I do all the time and I get confused and I have to watch the whole entire video from the beginning in order to understand. So I do apologize if that you decided not to watch the entire video. So let's get started. So the first thing you'll need is a program called OpenIV. This program is built for Rockstar Games, games only and you can it has a bunch of games that it supports not a lot but a good variety and once you actually download that we're also going to be also installing L the lssd pack lore friendly 2.0 pack and this has a bunch of customization for a bunch of vehicles for grand theft auto 5 i am not in this video i am not going to launch grand theft auto 5 um I probably because i don't want to get copyright strike from from rockstar and bec or any other company for audio issues because when you launch Grand Theft Auto, you can still get copyrights, and I'm not going to deal with that. So, yeah, you're just going to have to go on my word. And if it doesn't work, I'll try to help you. I can't really help much beyond that, but beyond that, I can only do so much what I can. So, I don't expect a lot of walkthrough through it through when you get help. So, so. I do apologize. So once you do, you have down this downloaded, done. You have this downloaded. I have both of these links in. I have only this link in the description. I was gonna have the GTA 5 mod manager, but this is crap. It doesn't really work, um, and don't know why I need it. It's just stupid. Um, so yeah, when I tried loading it in mods, it would say I have no mods, but which I do have mods, and it's completely bullshit. So don't use that. Uh, so what you need to do is head over and open open the I, open IV program, and you're gonna see a bunch of games. What we're gonna head over, for, we're gonna go for is Grand Theft Auto V Windows Edition, and this will work on both versions, Epic Games and the Steam. But depending where your Grand Theft Auto V game is installed, is where you have to go. I can't tell you where it's installed because everyone installs it differently. And if you keep asking me that question. I'm just going to say I don't know. It may get me mad, but I'm going to say I don't know. So now you have that open. What you'll need to do is when this, when this pops open, it's going to give you a prompt about editing mode. And what edit mode is, it basically allows you to edit the files that you, can, you can't normally edit. So we're going to go into edit mode. And we're going to say warning. You are in editing mode. While in editing mode, all changes will automatically be, sa automatically be saved. Do you want to continue? So click set yes, and what you'll need to do first to get everything prepared is you'll need to head, head over to the update folder and click on the update.rpf. It's going to get show you got show you a message. This is completely different because I've already done it. It's going to ask you the, the that the, the archive you're currently earning is not in my and it'll ask you to copy or edit folder settings. You just have to copy and don't edit this file, don't edit this one. Not yet. We're not going to edit this one at all. We're just going to leave this one alone. So once it actually is copied, all you need to do is head over to the mods folder, click update, 
and then click update.rpf. Um, now you need to go head over to the folder name common, then data, and search for a file called dlclist.xml. It is right here where I'm hovering over right now. Click the right mouse button while you're in edit mode and click edit. You will be presented with this, this screen with a bunch of new options and you can scroll down and I'm going to show you guys it's already been installed. So what you'll need to do is head over to the folder that has the, the, uh, has the files packed in it since we are basically installing everything, we're going to go ahead and install everything. So what you'll need to do is head over and what you'll need to do is this file we're going to be looking for, we're going to, are going to be focusing on. So what you'll need to do is create a new folder, not create a folder, open a new window, go to wherever your Grand Theft Auto 5 um, game is installed in. Mine is in lo it's located as you can see here. And you'll need to create a folder named mods, update, and this, as you can see here the, about the mods and update folder, make sure you create these before you go into OpenIV so this way you don't have to create it after. Um, just a pro tip. Then make an x64 folder and, D, and then another folder, less final folder called DLC packs. And just move on that L11, John11 underscore LSSD underscore pack folder into the DLC pack folder in, of where I showed you. Once that's done, you can just either bring this down. You can also as well look into the readme because it tells you what line you need to add. Make sure you cap, you, you just copy and copy this and what you'll need to do is to head over to the DLC list and you will be able to copy here. Now if, if for any instance the mod does not show here, make sure, uh, for example, say the mod doesn't work in the, actually in Grand Theft Auto 5. You will need to actually now, you will need to go to your bat plan B. This is plan A, start with this and then plan A. And the reason I'm making this thing and this is because this is the first time that if I have actually tried it. So I can't tell you guys whether if this 100% works. I can tell you guys this is an 80% chance it can work, but I still am not, don't know why this is, oh, cause I probably have the window open. So once you say you're gonna install it, make sure that it's on the bottom line. Don't don't do not install it below the S mandatory packs data. It will just corrupt your data the, the thing, and you don't want that to happen. So once you that, click save, and you're done. And you shouldn't get no error. And you should do the same thing for um, if you if if at any point it doesn't work. What you need to do is make sure that you you copy. We're gonna go ahead over and we're gonna go into our actual Grand Theft Auto folder and make sure that you copy this. Make sure you make a copy of this because in case something happens, you have a backup. I'm gonna make a copy of mine because this is an unedited run. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit it for you guys because you know what? We all need to test to see what happens. <laughs> because trust me, you don't want to go into a situation where like, oh shit, now I gotta re now I gotta reinstall the, the you know everything you know the whole shebang. So now we're gonna go ahead over into update, and we're now we're gonna go and head and open this. We're gonna go to common data, and now we're gonna go edit. We're gonna go into DLC list and click edit. Now we're gonna head over to the bottom of the page. We're gonna click this one, click enter. It should make a new line. Then click and click. Oh, actually, I'm gonna re cancel that one because in case it did copy it to there, I don't want that to happen. So we're gonna go head over and click edit. Now we're gonna go back to the notepad and we're gonna copy this line. Copy this line, put it into the line that break that you, that you made. So which we're gonna do that line break. And there you go. Click it there and click save. Once it's done, all you gotta do is just exit out of OpenIV and you should be done. Um, once you copy all the files and stuff like that, you should be done.
And if you done correctly, it should will should work. So we're gonna head over and we're gonna go find GTA 5. We're gonna launch Grand Theft Auto 5, and it should launch. We're gonna launch it with a big bang, and hopefully, as you can see, I get no error. So I'm really glad about that. Hopefully, we don't get an error, and we're not. We're gonna launch it. Hopefully, I'm gonna go into my. Oh, it's too late. <sighs> Is that gonna work? Before we go in there, I'm gonna make sure that okay, my desktop audio is not working. It's off, so and then I make sure that no audio is going in, so I can't get any copy strike. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look and see the new mods that we have installed. And I have no idea how this is gonna play out. I'm going. I'm, I'm hoping that it works because this is, this is my first time and most likely yours. It's most likely gonna work, and this is gonna show proof that it actually 100% works. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my controller because I don't like GTA 5. I'm using keep mouse and keyboard on on PC for for Grand Theft Auto 5. So we're gonna go into story mode. Remember, do not go online with mods, this mods, because you're going to get screwed. If you need any help, I'll help you as best as I can. But stay away from going online. It's not worth your time and trouble because once you get banned. There's nothing I can do or Rockstar can do because if you try to go to Rockstar saying you've been banned, they have logs of what you do. So if they see, they're gonna tell you, they're gonna tell you straight up, and you're gonna be mad. <laughs> so don't be a baby if shit goes down the fan. <sighs> I wish I could fast forward this, but I can't. We're gonna go on for the ride. So this whole video is just going to ride. We're gonna so we're gonna hopefully And it crashed on me. So it must have crashed on me, so I don't know what's going on. I'm going to leave it like this for now. If I have an update for this, I know that it worked. It just probably crashed because I have two different things. And but if you guys can help me out, I, I, I would love for you guys to as well investigate and in getting this working because I'm I'm new to this. I'm new to the, the modding community too for GTA 5, so I can make mistakes. You can make mistakes. So if you find a solution, let me know. I will leave my Twitter in Twitter handle or my Twitter handle in the description, and you guys can definitely. Do, I'll also leave my Discord, so you guys can definitely message me on how what I should do. Because I think that was happened was that the game was confused. Actually, to be honest, I'm going to I'm going to upload this video. And then I will proceed on making an updated video. I will leave in the description noting that, that noting the noting this, but I will update everyone on the next video on how to properly install. This is just as I said, I needed to push the video out, so this is one of those videos, and a mistakes were made. So I gotta figure this out. So hopefully, wish me the best. And if you guys have a resolution, let me know in the comment section below. Um, so. I would suggest in the end, the end, don't update the up the original one. Um, update edit the one that's the modded version, and you should be fine. I think. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and please, you know, I much appreciate this video if you want to. I'm trying my best, and hopefully, my efforts didn't go down. The drain because I am trying really hard trying to get things working for you guys trying to find a solution to do this and the least I can I want you guys to do is give this video a like and I will keep investigating this and hopefully get it running once I once I find that perfect perfect configuration on how to properly mod it 100% right now it's at 95% um, 5% doesn't work <laughs> um then I will upload another video and most delete this one so people don't get confused. This is a marker of history, and I know that things can be fixed. But once the, once I get everything figured out, I'll upload another video, a clean, straight video, and hopefully that works. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see